Well, Dana Kennedy is an American journalist based in France who's written about burglaries involving gas on the Riviera. She joins us from Paris via Skype. Good evening to you. Uh, how prevalent are crimes like this which involve gassing? Well, I first found out about it five years ago, so it's pretty hard for me to read these accounts in UK papers in which local officials are saying they're skeptical because it was in the Nice Matin five years ago. I didn't go looking for the story. There was an article, almost like a public service announcement, warning people in camper vans who camp along the public campgrounds along the French interstate highways to be careful because Eastern European criminal gangs were sneaking up at the camper vans at night opening the air conditioning vents and gassing them. The key thing is you, they want you to be there. They want you to be in the camper van. They want you to be in the villa because what they want are laptops, cameras, jewelry. If you're not in the villa, they're not looking for Picassos. They're looking for stuff that you bring there when you're rich. Well, you know, gassing someone in a camper van is one thing. That's quite a confined space. When you're talking about a villa, uh, presuming it's a fairly large villa, then that's much more difficult. So we're hearing experts say they're trying to pump that full of anaesthetic gas is a lot harder. I, I talked to uh, a, quite a few security experts on the French Riviera for this, and they said it wasn't really that difficult. They said that it's usually air conditioning vents. In some cases, they sneak in and they put it in the master bedroom. I have a, a friend who is a high-end estate agent in Cannes. She woke up with a headache one day and at first thought was everything was okay, then saw that her nightstand inches from her, her head had been cleaned out. Her closets were, were cleaned out. Jewelry was taken, the bags were taken, and the most incredible thing I have to tell you is that she had high-end purses, the real deal, designer purses and knockoffs. She had real jewelry and costume jewelry, and the thieves only took the real jewelry and the real bags. And in fact, she had a Balenciaga that she thought was the real thing. They didn't take it. She later had it tested. It was a knockoff. So these thieves know what they're doing. And in fact, a security guy said that the ether they use, and he, he used the word ether, in fact, you can get it at auto parts stores. He didn't really want to tell me that because I said, why isn't this being used in America? You know, I mean, I'm American, so I'm used to, I come from New York. I'm thinking, why isn't it being done there? He said, I hope they don't find out about that. Well, this takes a bit of planning, doesn't it? I mean, you're saying you've had people, you know people who've uh, had these kind of crimes uh, committed. What kind of things, are there any signs perhaps that you are being staked out for such a robbery? When I first moved to the south of France 10 years ago, becoming from New York, I was absolutely shocked to find out how incredibly common even regular home invasions are, home burglaries, pickpocketing, robbery, all the time, you know, the problem with places like Marbella in Spain and Nice, France and Saint-Tropez is the local officials have a huge investment in not really letting the truth be known about how bad crime is there. That's really what, what's happening here. It's not so much that it hasn't gone on for many years. It truly is the home of dirty, rotten scoundrels. It truly is a sunny place for shady people. But the local papers, the local officials, and I'm not being paranoid. I, I live there. I know the place. I've experienced it. I know people who are crime victims. They don't want to tell you. And people want to believe the myth, especially the south of France. Not so much Spain, but the south of France is, like, untouchable. Extraordinary. Good to speak to you. Thank you.